thing, in my opinion, is that this lets us define perpendicular in like a hundred dimensional space. That's crazy. Right? We can, we've got this notion of like an angle that works in any dimensional space we want. Right? We've been doing it in two-dimensional space because the pictures are easy to draw. Right? But this identity holds in any dimensional space we want, which is kind of uh, OK. Yeah, million dollar idea. No one has done this yet, but I think it'd be a sweet t-shirt idea. Is to make a shirt U of T. That'd be great. I've wanted this shirt for years. <laughs> gives us a different vector. These vectors trace out some kind of path, and we're saying, is this ever orthogonal to this given vector? Right, so we've got Is there a point on this path that's perpendicular to this guy? So maybe something like that would do it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll so oh, yeah, sure. Yes, yes, good. Uh, right. So, for our definition of orthogonal, we're going to take both of the things to be non zero. Because then everything's orthogonal to zero. Which, uh, does everything form a right angle with nothing? It's cosmic, right? I don't know. I don't know the answer. So, I'm taking both of these guys to be non zero. But that's a, a good point. Uh, so, yeah, let's set up the equation that describes being orthogonal. Like, if on a test we got a question like this and we put one of the, the solutions as t equals zero, would we lose points? Um, it, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the question was, like, are we going to pay attention to this non-zero thing on tests? And the answer is yes. Um, so, <coughs> so we'll, we'll make an equation that describes being orthogonal.
down the orthogonality, orthogonality condition. We need this polynomial to be zero, and we've got that one solution, t equals zero, and then we've got another guy as well. give us a vector of zero length. So this one's the one we want. Okay, so looking at our plot here, it turns out that this is at Just a quick question, why why aren't you allowed to have the zero vector <coughs> included? Right, um, right, so yeah, why not, right? Why not why not make these guys zero? Um, so what we're trying to capture here is the notion of being at a right angle. Mm -hmm. right. We wanna we want this thing to define We sort of have a sense of what that is in 2D space or in 3D space. And if we allow this guy to be zero, or if we allow one of these vectors to be zero, then everything is at a right angle to it. Oh, because it's just like the origin? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Their notion of angle. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it's weird. Um, other thoughts or comments there? Other ideas? Yes. Would the zero vector be both perpendicular and parallel to itself by that definition, ignoring zero? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the zero vector is perpendicular to every other vector, and it's also parallel to every vector. Very strange, right? So the reason why we're ruling this we're ruling out the zero vector is because it makes orthogonal too weird. Right? So now we can get the zero vector is parallel to every vector and orthogonal to nothing. Which seems like a better compromise. Um, yes, good. Okay. So I want to get you sort of my usual spiel about tests. Uh, we've got our test coming up on Friday. Um, so the night, so Thursday night, please relax a little bit, okay? You, I am a doctor. You have doctor's orders to relax Thursday night. Don't stay up till four in the morning cramming. Um, it won't help. You know, 
Thursday night, put the books down, relax. Um, it's very, very, very tempting to show up to an exam with like a huge thing of coffee. It doesn't help. So I see some people with water bottles. That's a good thing. Bring some water, stay hydrated, uh, but, uh, but you know, don't like show up with your morning coffee. It'll just stress you out. Uh, the other thing that I always, always, always see is I come to visually a test and everyone's like this. The last minute before the test, the very last second, they're like, vectors, jump, actually vectors aren't on the test, sorry. Polar coordinates, uh, radius, theta, all this kind of stuff. I discourage you from doing that. What happens if you study the very last minute before the test is, you, is your short-term memory overrides your long-term memory. So you've been studying, you've been doing the quizzes, and you're probably doing all right. Uh, but if you spend your last five minutes with the book in your hand, you'll just think everything is a polar coordinates question. And they're not. So, you know, five minutes before the test, try and relax. Uh, we'll be writing in this room. And uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I think you've got this. Oh, question. Um, I'm in the uh, Professor Watson section. Yeah. Um, wait, is, is the test going to be similar to yours? Yeah, it's exact. Yep, very, very, very similar. Okay. Okay, good luck, everyone. I'll uh, see you on Friday. All right, good luck. Yeah, come on. Yeah.